When there's no more spoon in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Alrighty guys, welcome to a new series on Project Zomboid. In this life, we are the Spoon Lord. And what that means for us is that the only way to take out these heathens outside is to use the power of the spoon. Nothing else, nothing more. Not even my own feet can be used to kill these things. I can shove them away, but that's about it. And so, the Spoon Lord is an overweight, strong, hunter, handy, fast learner, speed demon, slow reader, weak stomach, is unlucky, smokes, is prone to illness, is a slow healer, thin skinned. Will the Spoon Lord survive more than a single day? That is something we'll find out. So I think the first thing on our agenda is to look for some delicious ice cream, which I will always take. We are a f ice cream shop worker, so it only makes sense. We're only gonna be looting the bare essentials. And it seems like we have three spoons to feed our addiction. Let's gear up. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. And it seems like we do have some supplies here as well. A few books to take for the road, a sheet and razor just for proper hygiene, and a hand axe in the closet. This would be a great weapon if we didn't want to defile our pure nature with without using the beautiful spoon. So that's gonna be mainly a tool here. Seems like it's pretty misty outside. There is a crash, but I don't see any infected, which is a good sign. We're gonna go hit up the neighbor's house. As I crawl along, like a snake, like a very slippery snake. Zombies don't even know where I'm at. I am inevitable. I am the enigma. And just like that, we have our first challenger. Surely but a single footstone, a pebble, in the grand scheme of things. The Spoon Lord has much more to actually take on, and so, I shall kill her rightfully. Now, the thing is with using spoons, is that in order to get the best bang for your buck, you need to shove them on the ground, and promptly stab them from the top. I found that using a single spoon is good for one zombie. It's, it's a sad sight to see a spoon go at the skull of a zombie, but sometimes you have to make willing sacrifices, and as a spoon lord, you have to look out for the majority, not the minority. So, it seems like we got some food here. I'm not going to be taking too much, as we don't need a lot. We are a little bit overweight. We have been blessed yet again with another three spoons, which is potentially another three zombies down, and a water bottle to keep us all satiated, and a meat patty. Holy hell. I think a visitor may have come in. Now, we may have six spoons on the ready, but that doesn't mean we're willing to take out this many zombies. Spoons are a very finite resource. And so, I see three zombies coming in right now, we're just gonna avoid them tactically. Yeah, that's not worth it at all. And just like that, we're out into the wastes, baby. <laughs> I wasn't even there. We do have a police officer down here, and the school. We are in the quaint town of Riverside. There is a group of zombies down over night as well. We'll try and avoid them. The Spoon Lord physically can't die for years, so we don't have to worry about that. Don't mind the zombies in the background, but it seems like we've gotten a car key. And so, sir, with the handlebar mustache, I bid thee farewell. I hope you have a good night. Bada boingus. Let's take it real easy when we're coming up here, though. Don't want to attract half the town to our location. All we're looking for is a key, and it seems like we've gotten one. We don't have any gasoline, though. Let's check the other. Now, thankfully, we're able to use this mist, and it seems like we this thing is fully gassed up and ready to rock. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a survivor vehicle right there. Oh, the Spoon Lord, you are a lucky man. Kind of unlucky, because we do have four zombies on us. Nothing a little bit of Dorfu can't handle, though. <laughs> Get contained. Okay, maybe not exactly the most contained, but it should work for right now. Let's start to hurry ourselves up now. Alrighty, so we're on the lookout for a... Ooh, for a bag! Just like that, we got one. And we also take a pair of scissors. Now, everything other than a spoon is gonna be for commodity use. So that means tools, weapon... No, no weapons, sorry. The only weapons we can afford are the spoons. And they are very forgiving of a, of a tool, weapon. Sadly, I don't think we can cut down trees with the spoon. But that's alright, that's what we have axes for. So I'm not seeing much here right now, but we do have a comic book and... It's always good to stay entertained in the apocalypse. Ooh, someone's cold lunch actually has an apple and chips as well. Well, thank you. And there's a sweatband in here. Hold up. Let me see how this looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's staying on. Tactical dual-wheeled <laughs> spoons with the sweatband? Wow, there are three zombies chilling at the door. I'm going to leave them to their own devices. Oh, yeah. We're ready to kill. <laughs> We're ready to zoom. And it seems like we got ourselves a school bag. All right, they actually got through. We're gonna have to leave the hand axe behind. And I do see a hiking bag. So 
my plan right now, in order to get that hiking bag, is to lead these guys around. Though, I could get some well-needed experience in, but three is a little bit too much. Two is something, but four is a different beast. And so the Spoon Lord shall use a tactic brought down from generation to generation to simply shut the door behind, take the hiking bag, and leave. We're out, baby. Woo! Though it's actually pretty surprising in how empty these, uh, these, these hallways are. I was like, it's kind of expecting a little bit more of a fight, but I'm not really complaining. The next trip is gonna be the library. Get out of here! Hopefully the library will have some good things. <laughs> Holy hell, look at that. How to use generators, electronics magazine. It's going great so far. Metalworking magazines, carpentry for beginners, books, cooking magazines, the hunter volume two, which we already know because we are an avid hunter. The spoon lord likes to go natural as much as he can. Though sometimes he'll make a nice little cheat day for some good old fashioned ice cream. Angler magazine. First aid for beginners. That's cute. It'd be good f kindling, though. Alrighty. We're gonna have to figure out how to deal with her. And my strategy is to simply push... You know what? No, 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 no. We're gonna take her out with the spoon. Now, the reason why I am gouging her eyes out with the spoon right now is because we need to level up our skills with the spoon. Right now, we are but a, a, a grasshopper, a fledgling, a young Padawan learning the true art of the spoon. As you see, spoons use short blade levels. So in order to become as powerful as possible, we're gonna need to raise this skill. So we're gonna need to stick around cities as that is where we get our constant supply of spoons. And we're gonna need to kill some zombies whenever we get the chance to so we can expand and grow as a person. So as of right now, our current firepower doesn't really allow us to fight groups of zombies. So let's make sure this bottle is all cleared up and ready to rock. But other than that right about now, I think we're ready to leave. We have ourselves quite a bit of tools, quite a bit of weapons, <laughs> quite a bit of spoons, sorry. The, it, <laughs> if we're being completely real, the Spoon Lord is a weapon by himself. I think we're gonna go hop into our nice little vehicle here. We're gonna start her up. Hold on. <laughs> I may or may not, yeah, I, I, I left the key in the bag, which is probably not the best. And now we have three zombies on us had three zombies on us, that is. So we're gonna be hopping on down. We're gonna be going downtown, trying to avoid the big groups. Don't really wanna say hi to them. Maybe we'll hit up a couple more homes on the way. But for right now, I wanna get somewhere safe, similar to where I can get all my eggs in a row, and then we'll work from there. Try not to hit any zombies, as this is not a spoon. I don't know, do you think a car could be considered a spoon? I mean, it doesn't really have the shape, but if you were to carve out something that you could eat food out of technically, though that would be a bull at that point, wouldn't it? Questions like that are always great to keep yourself occupied in the apocalypse. God knows you need it. Okie dokie, we made it to our next location. This is the bar and market combo. The reason why I'm here? There's a lot of materials here, a lot of spoons, hopefully. There's also a lot of police officers. I don't know why I'm getting so lucky this run, but... There is a lot going on here, a lot to uh, unfold. Well, whatever. I think I'm gonna continue down the road and we'll hit up a smaller neighborhood where we can kind of get our, our our crap together. I'll be completely real with you. There are a lot of zombies here. So what I think I'm gonna do is use the enhanced sound function of the car, aka the horn, to try and lead some of them away to where we can actually loot this area because we don't have enough spoons for this many zombies right now. Hey yo, the pizza here! I feel like the faster I tap it, the more I do. There are actually a lot here, so let's uh, head down a little bit. I don't want to jeopardize the market situation, so we won't go down around there. But I'm crossing my fingers, this is gonna be enough for me to loot the area. Yes, 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 come on over. Can I also say how wimpy this horn sounds? <laughs> Alright, now we now we drive into the woods, and we should be able to lose them pretty easily. This seems like a good spot to lay low for a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we do have a single zombie here, nothing my spoon can't handle. Okay, then my spoon broke and there's two coming in after me right now. How many more do we got? <laughs> Three spoons, two zombies. One of them is already kind of hurt. Now, I could stab them while I'm standing on top, but frankly, that would be a waste of resources. Though I did just do that right now to save myself from the fate of fighting four zombies right now. <laughs> there are a lot here, and I only have so many spoons. Sadly, you can't dual wield as well. 
So just like that, the threat is clear. We have killed quite a few zombies already. They can feel the power surging through my veins. Though sadly, we did have a couple of losses. Two spoons lost their lives in the battle for me to continue breathing. Let's not waste their lives now. Let's continue. Live strong. <laughs> live free. And live as vicariously through them as we can. Let's see if we can get any more spoons. And just like that, we got another three spoons for the road. That's what I love to see. We also do have a couple of rats here. And some ice cream. All right. I think this is going to be a good, good little place to hide out in. We have a nice piano. We can serenade just ourselves. There's, there are three zombies outside. I'm kind of thinking that this house was telling me something. Three spoons inside. Three zombies outside. Three corpses in the making. Oh. This used to be a nice neighborhood, you know. <laughs> now it's just riddled with blood. But we came out on top, the one sad thing, so we lost another three spoons. We have two more, and both of them are not in the best condition. But we did clear out the nearby area to where we can sleep a good night. I'm also going to take this red, red digital watch off this zombie. I do need it. And it seems like it's 7, 10 p.m. So I think we're going to go hit up that house over there. And I think we're gonna go call it quits in here. One thing I do like to tell myself is that it's not a race, it's a marathon. And that's what I will always tell myself till the end of time. Let's see if we can find any more spoons in here. Our search proved pretty useful. We got three forks and one spoon. Sadly, we won't be able to use the forks, though that's probably for good reason. Not that I would want to use them anyway, the disgusting things. Can't even eat soup in them. We got a few books in here, and a very nice friendship bracelet that I will wear. But other than that, it seems like this place was a bit of a bust. We do have ourselves a little bit of food, and I definitely think we've earned ourselves a little bit of grub. Two more people moved their way into my front yard. That's not gonna fly with me. Alrighty, two zombies, two spoons should be pretty doable. I sure hope it is. <laughs> we don't have a lot here, so I hope they do take mercy on me. Yeah, stay down, lady! I'm trying to live here! Hey! That's actually really good. We hit her so hard, she just lost her ability to walk. I mean, <laughs> I would too in the, in the presence of the spoon. So let's go get a little bit of distance and take out Green Hoodie now. Should be no problem for someone cut out as myself. Ooh, she's trying to take a big old bite at my ankles. Wow, we've actually, we took out both of them. This gives me a better idea because we do need to save our spoonage right now. Come on, little guys. Come in. Come on. Come in here. Psst, 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 psst. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, little guys. Right inside this bedroom. Come on. There you go. Get contained. <laughs> you know, in order to survive in the apocalypse, you really do have to have a good head on your shoulders. And my gosh, did we bamboozle them. And I think after all the hijinks today, we've earned ourselves a good old steak inside the oven. Now, it's already a pre-cooked steak, but it's the thought that counts. I definitely think we've earned some protein. Let's warm her up. Just like mother used to make. We're also going to pick up the fridge and place it in front of our nice little spot here as we drift off into sleep. But I think this is going to be a good spot to end the episode. We survived our first day using nothing but spoons. With a very impressive 10 zombies killed in 12 hours, I will count that as a win for the Spood Lord himself. Anyways, if you guys liked this episode, please like, favorite, share, subscribe for more. If you guys like this new type of editing, please let me know in the comments down below. Anyways... I'll see you guys in the next day as we get ourselves some well-deserved sleep. Peace out.